Hey, Jay Clark with Racerex Tested. Uh, today we have a really fun project. Uh, it's an 06, the original dual pipe, CRF 250R from Honda. And uh, this bike was beat. As you can see in the photos, that uh, the before photos, this motor was completely blown up. Bought the thing for 400 bucks on Craigslist and we went completely through this thing. And uh, got the 14 here and you can, uh, at this, this day with Honda here, and it's kind of fun to see the differences in these last uh, eight years or so. Okay, so the engine was completely blown. It, it needed a complete new crankshaft, main bearings, cylinder, piston, uh, all those parts. And while we were there, we went ahead and buffed out the cases to try to clean those up. A lot of guys, their cases get really stained. You can do that with some scotch brad pads and clean up the cases really good. So we got the motor rebuilt with uh, Hot Rods crankshaft, uh, cylinder works, uh, 256cc big bore kit, and we're able to put all new components in the engine. So the, with the engine rebuild, we went ahead and powder coated the ignition cover and valve cover just to give it a nice uh, look. So it looked all fresh and when, uh, as you can see on the frame, we went ahead and polished that all out while the engine was out and as we replaced all the bearings and seals with Pivotworks kits. With Henson, we put a whole new clutch setup in the CRF 250. Really nice setup, uh, very durable, good performance as well. One of the uh, things that's common on any older bike is uh, radiators are usually pretty bent, bent and tweaked. ICW back in North Carolina, they uh, help straighten them out and also strengthen them up. Do a real good job of fixing your stock radiators. Having ridden these Hondas a lot back in the day, we kind of knew what setup we like. Uh, we got the applied triple clamps with 22 millimeter, 22 millimeter offset with some Renthal uh, twin wall bars. Ride Engineering helped us on a, a nice brake line here, a steel braided line going down and Racetech helped us with our suspension. Really nice setup. We just went through and re replaced all the bushings and seals with Pivotworks kits and got fresh oil in there with a fresh rebuild on this uh, older suspension. Okay, so our wheel sets are Tusk from Rocky Mountain. It's their brand new impact wheel sets, complete wheels, really good price, $4.99 for a set of wheels. And then of course we got to made it up to some Renthal chain and sprockets with Tusk uh, rear rotor as well. Okay, so we got the Tusk oversized front rotor kit, made it up to those wheels, and we got the MX-51 Geomax tires from Dunlop. The graphics are supplied by Decal Works. They do a great job and have MX plastics. We got all new plastics in this old beater and to make her look like a brand new bike. Moto Seat made us a custom seat cover. Looks really sharp with our, you know, matches the yellow hoses from CV4. Makes it look really sharp. Works Connection has the standard and perches. This is their Elite Perch. Still has the hot start on there because of course this thing still has a carburetor. For the carburetor we use an 0405 carb. It's a lot smaller than the 06 to 09 carb. It's a lot easier to jet, a lot better at getting rid of that. Okay, CV4 has their X2 line of valves and springs for the head and that's what we replaced all the valves and springs with. Since our head was still in good shape, we just put new valves and springs in the motor. Hey, so the Cylinder Works kit comes complete with a brand new cylinder, top and gasket kit, and vertex piston. A really good option when you're completely uh, need a whole top end, when you need a whole new cylinder. It's OEM quality, looks just like the stock one. Same thing with the gaskets and piston. In this case, we went to one millimeter larger than stock for a 256cc, a good performance increase at the same time. Hot Rods has a new complete bottom end kit. It comes with a complete crankshaft, full complete with the Hot Rods rod kit on there, all the seals you need, main bearings, and all the gaskets for the entire engine all in one kit. The Rocky Mountains are supplier for basically everything on this bike. They're great at getting all those parts in one source. 